Hey, what's up you guys? It's Anne here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you on how I made this full circle plus reversible bustier dress. And in case you would like to give it a try, I'll be glad to share with you my pattern. But it's gonna be based on my measurement. I still don't know how to create a pattern. Still learning. But you can totally use it as a guide maybe to make something for yourself. So just let me know and check out the description box below for more info. So let's get started! Start by cutting all the pieces. I fold my fabric and laid my patterns on top, then I trace and cut them carefully. So these are just for the bodies, we'll get to discard here in a little bit. So these are all the pieces for my bodies. You see, the seams are pretty much straight so it should be easy to sew them together. I also like to serge or in my case overlock the row edges. It's nice to have in neat and clean edges, you know, it kinda gives you that professional vibe. So using my overcasting foot, I insert the raw edges of my garment exactly in the middle of the presser foot and if you can see it, it's kind of folding the raw edges to the side. It don't look as good as being serged but really close. See, look at that, it's not bad. Okay, so next I'll do a bisting stitch in the cup circle or whatever you call it. That's probably about half an inch wider, then of course press the seams nicely and then two small notches all the way around in the cup circle. Just be careful not to cut the stitches then press the sides. Those stitches and notches should make it easy for you to press it. I also went ahead and made one for the other side. So what I like to do here is to press the seams on both pieces in an opposite direction. Like right now, this is facing to the left, therefore the seams here should be folded to the right. All of the seams in both bodies should be facing in an opposite direction. Then I'm just gonna do a top stitching. Now the bonding is optional, I just thought I'll put one to give it a little bit of body and probably would help to make the dress have that tummy control effect. Also if you do this, don't forget to add bonding on the reverse side of the bodice to balance them out. So about the skirt, I didn't include a pattern because it's a gathered skirt anyway, so it shouldn't matter if it's not totally equal to your bodice, and if I can make full circle skirt, then anybody can. But I put in the description box below the link on a full circle calculator. You can use it and it's pretty accurate so check it out. I also use my cutout piece to trace one for my reverse skirt. And once it's done, go ahead and cut one side open on both pieces. I didn't get to record but I did sew a basting stitch onto my skirt for gathering but yeah, after that you can attach the skirt to the bodice. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and attach the zipper. I made a separate video in this tutorial where I did a detailed explanation on how I attached my zipper. I also put the link in the description box below, so please check it out. So just so you know, I just use a regular invisible zipper which is not very ideal in this design to be honest. It works but I just really had to be creative with it. But in case you like to give this a try, I would really recommend using a reversible zipper to be safe. Otherwise, you will always need assistance every time you decide to wear the reverse side. Now that the zipper is done on one side, let's go ahead and construct these two pieces together. To make it less confusing for me, I slip the black dress inside the red dress. Then I start to pin the center back opening of the two dress, starting from the top to the bottom where the zipper ends. Also, I make sure to match all the waistline seams on both sides. By the way, I just want to tell you that if you're planning to try this out, I would really suggest that you use same exact kind of fabric because originally I was just gonna make the skirt totally in the same length but I ran into complication, maybe because of fabric differences. They are both silky, I'll tell you that, but the black satin is actually heavier than the red one, so it is more bouncy and flowy, and the red one is super light and airy, and it don't bounce as much, so some part of the black skirt are showing in the red side and vice versa, 
so that's how I decided to just make one shorter. Then sew it as close as possible to the zipper teeth. You won't be able to see it but you can feel it. So this is how it looks like and then go ahead and do the same with the other side. Then of course I'll press the zipper nice and flat. So in order to hide the zipper teeth, I'd like to overlap one side of the back part. Not a whole lot but just enough to cover the zipper teeth. I only do this side of the dress, the other side is all set. So it don't matter which side you overlap but I do the right side. Then I paint it with both pieces wide open so I can do a top stitching. I just want to say that I didn't cover the reverse side which is the black one because I did it exactly the same on the red dress. So this is the zipper head, you can really see it exposed in the other side. So I'm gonna sew it straight across to get this piece to lay flat in this position. But be careful not to cut the other side of the skirt because I did. So this is how it looks on the other side and it works perfect so I'm happy with it. Alright, moving on to the cuffs. So I like to keep my pattern laid on top because you could really get lost. The shape is pretty much alike except for the top ones. So I like to pin them first and then sew the pieces together. And once it's done, I'm gonna do a top stitching. And make sure you trim the excess fabric before you attach the upper cuff. So what I do is I start to pin it in the sides first, then I work it all the way to the center, then just sew along and then do top stitching them as well. Yeah, this is a football. My husband's lap falcons, so there's all kinds of football stuff around. This one is useful after all. It's soft but it'll do. See, look at that. It fits perfect. Hey, we gotta find alternate solution, you know, without spending. Alright, moving on to the straps. That looks like a lot of straps, but I need to make double-sided straps, you know. Then I just sew one side of the straps. I like to press the seams open, depends on what technique you take. You can either fold the pieces like that and then fold it one more time and then just do a top stitching directly. But me, I'd rather like to sew the other side of the straps because I don't want it to have a top stitching. Then I just trim all the excess fabric and turn it inside out. Just in case you'll find it too much, just do one strap on each side, it'll be less work and less fabric. Then I just position my straps about 2 inches away from the side. I also repurpose an old bra pattern to make it fit perfectly with my cuff. And then I will just uh, paint it along with the other pieces. Then I'm gonna sew just the top part of the cuff. Once it's done, I'm gonna trim some part of the padding and then do small notches on the cuff seams. Then I flip the block side and sew it along with my padding to keep it from sliding around. One thing I'd really like to do is to insert a little piece of fabric in between of my cuff. I just pretend that this is my underwire channeling, but we all know it's not. But this piece would be really helpful when we attach this piece to the dress. Then just sew it all the way around. Next I'm going to connect the straps to the back panels. Stretch the straps to keep them from getting all twisted, then pin them to the back panels. I position mine about 2 and half inches away from the center back opening, then close the back panels wrong side together. Like 
make sure that you max all the seams in both pieces then sew it just till here in the side seams and of course trim the corner and flip it right side out this part in the cuff circle should remain open for the meantime so now I'm ready to attach the cuffs there are ways to do it. First, I will pin my cuff in the reverse side of the dress only. Actually, it won't matter which side you do, it's going to come up the same both ways. But I'll do just the black side first because it's more slippery. So I pin the cuff in one side of the dress matching the center seams of both the cuff and the bodice. Then I'll do a temporary hand stitching to keep this side from slipping around. So now that it's secure, I can now go ahead and pin the other side of the dress. So right here, I'm just gonna tuck the open seams of the cuff circle inside and pin it along with the cuff. So this technique will take a little bit longer, but once it's done, you don't have to worry about the other side not being sewn properly because it's already been secure. Plus, you can easily remove the hand stitching easily. So the middle part of the body is just tuck it inside as well. Another way is to do it if you feel comfortable enough. You can totally pin the cuff directly in between of the two dress layers. This method is a lot faster, we don't have to do hand stitching on one side, but we just have to be really precise that both sides are in the same position, so when we sew it, we won't run into problems. I tried both ways and it works perfect for me. So I just sew the cuff about 1mm on the dress and the other side should also look like this. I'd like to reinforce and do another stitching on top just to be sure that the cuff is not going anywhere plus it will make it look more appealing. Just wanted to share that I also made couple version of this where I sewed the cuff one by one on its bodice. It's a lot easier to deal with, the cuff didn't look as good but took me a few tries to finally achieve a good cuff. But there's a lot of potential you can do with this bodice, either full circle, pencil skirt or even with a little twist would look amazing. So I have red in my upper thread and black in the bottom. I'm gonna do a top stitching here. Normally we just do one side, but in this case I'll do both. Then finally to the most boring part, hemming a full circle skirt. This is no fun, but of course you can use a hemming tape if you need to. But me, I don't really want to spend any more than I have to, so I have to take my time and just press the sides. Okay, one last thing. I just want to talk about the wrong side of the red skirt being exposed on the reverse side. I know it's totally uncool, it looks a bit off, so I probably would have to add red ruffles on the black side so it won't matter if it shows some of it in the red side. But yeah, you could totally try to do a full circle. I just wanted to tell you some minor issues that I encounter, but you can always challenge yourself, you know. Then I would connect the waistline seams to keep it feel separated. You can either sew it directly or do a few hand stitching. And that's gonna be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.